Hello everyone, this is Laxmi and Triumph with Steel of the Week number 56. The look for today is specially created for my birthday party. I am going out tonight to celebrate my birthday, so um, I put together this look that I hope you guys enjoy. First, we're going to work on the makeup, and um, for those that follow my blog, you see how I recently posted an article about the Oxblood color, which is whatever you want to call it, the dark burgun the burgundy, the dark red, the wine color, and uh, I wanted to wear this lipstick, which is the same color, so in order to wear this lipstick, I had to create uh, an special makeup. That's why I uh, carefully picked the eyeshadows that I am going to uh, put on. So, once again, I'm going to use the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. And the colors that I picked to work with are the Naked Color, which is this one right here, the third one. Um, that's the first one that I'm going to apply. And then, um, I think I'm going to work with the Hustle, which is this, this one right here next to the black. Um, and also, the Half Baked which is this light gold color. Besides those colors, I'm also going to work with this also Urban Decay eyeshadow. Um, it's called Woodstock, which is, I will describe it as a um, pink, very uh, pink color, bright pink. Um, but it kind of like, uh, when, you, when you put it on, it kind of like looks like little reddish. So um, I'm just going to add a little bit of that eyeshadow. So right away, let's start working with the eyes. And I'm going to proceed to apply the Naked color. I'm going to apply it all over my eye. And now I'm going to use the Woodstock color. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this color towards the end, like the same technique if you were going to um, do like a, a smoky eye look. Just a little bit right here. I was planning on wearing false eyelashes, but then um, just changed my mind. Um, just a few reasons why. Um, because I have bands, as you can see, I cut my bands. So um, I think I'm going to go for a more uh, subtle look, and I'm going to opt out for the eyelashes. I'm just going to use a lot of mascara. And being that I'm not going to apply the false eyelashes, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is this uh, eyeliner, black liquid eyeliner, called Blind Stiletto from Maybelline. And I think I'm going to go a little dramatic, and I'm going to uh, apply the eyeliner all the way over here, from all the way over here towards the end, and then I'm going to lift it up, creating that cat eye look. So what, what I did was, I extended the eyeliner all the way from here towards the end and then I created that cut eye and uh, made it, I made the line very thick. So now, I'm going to proceed to apply the Hussa color, which is that um, bronze, shiny color. And I'm going to use this brush, it's a, an eyeliner brush. 
and I'm going to apply that color at the bottom right here. And then I'm gonna apply the half bake color, which is the light gold. And I'm gonna apply it right here towards the inside, the inner corner of the eye, just to highlight that section right there. Now, what's left will be to apply lots. Of mascara I'm going to use this double X uh, from Maybelline just the first step to make my eyelashes look longer and then I'm going to use the Colossal also from Maybelline and then I'm gonna finish with this big fatty mascara from Urban Decay Before I apply the mascara at the bottom, I'm going to apply this eye pencil from MAC. And now I'm applying the black on the inside of the eye. Now we can apply the mascara. I'm now going to proceed to apply the blush. We are done with the eyes and as you can see, since I have bands, I wanted to create a more dramatic eye makeup so um, the eyes could actually stand out being that I chose not to wear false eyelashes. I still wanted the eye makeup to, to show um, even though I'm going to wear a very dramatic lip color but um, I feel since I'm going to be celebrating at a club it's night time I want the pictures to to show the makeup and that's why I wanted to work a little more extra on the eyes so the blush that I'm going to use is this Bobbi Brown bronzer called brownie And then this Cut Von D lip color is called Rosary. It's like a blackberry color, Oxblood, which is the new term for this color. And I showed you in the beginning, it's a very, very dark um, burgundy wine color. And last, don't forget to apply a compact powder like this one I'm using Studio Fix from MAC uh, that's just to finish the makeup let's now talk about the hair yesterday I went to the beauty salon and I cut my bands and I decided to wear my hair straight with the bands come to the front um, that's part of the look that I wanted to create but if you feel like doing it at home just use the flat iron to straighten your hair. If you need assistance with that, you can go to my Steel of the Week number one, uh, the hair tutorial, and then there I show you how to use the, the flat iron, just for those that don't know how to do it. Okay, so let's move on to the accessory part. I have a bunch of things here that I wanted to show you that I'm going to wear, and the accessories that I picked for this look. First, I'm going to talk about the earrings. 
I got this earring a uh, while back, a um, few years I would say. And these are in gold, very long earrings. And I felt that uh, I wanted to wear long earrings because, in a gold color, because I, since I'm wearing black and my hair loose, that straight, I wanted my earrings to to stand out a little bit. And I feel that the hair straight with the long earrings like this, I think they, they go perfect. So, um, now we're going to talk about the bracelets that I picked. I went to Kohl's this week and I got this bracelet from Vera Wan. Um, I would say it's a combination of like a, a very dark silver with gold and the gold has like light pinkish rhinestones in it. So um, I paid for this. It was on sale. The regular price was $44, but I think it came out to $26. It was like a 40% off, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I went to Burlington Coat Factory and I got this bracelet. It's like a cuff and it's in gold and it has this purplish uh, like rhinestones coming down and all fringe so I think it's just beautiful a beautiful bracelet so I'm gonna put one on each hand and then I got this uh, ring also from Burlington Coal Factory uh, for the bracelet I paid $9.99 and this ring, bow ring in gold is um, I pay $5.99 for it. And I also picked my regular ring that I always wear, the square one, like gold and silver. So I'm going to wear each one on each hand. And last, I wanted to show you a few more things that I picked to complete this look, like these shoes that I got at Burlington Coal Factory this week for only $39.99. They are Carlos Santana shoes and they are in gold like a light gold featuring a five inch heel and also a multicolor um, glittery confetti all over all around I think they are beautiful and perfect for a night out and also uh, I picked this bindis that I got from Visions of India I'm a fan of uh, different cultures and um, the exotic looks of different parts of the world and how they dress so I like to once in a while incorporate that to my looks and um, since I love Indian culture very much um, I'm usually buying a few things like this one and um, these are in a um, little goldish color featuring a little pearl in the middle with like multicolored rhinestones all around. Um, a bendy is an Indian ornament that women wear right here in um, between the eyes and the eyebrows. So I think I'm going to wear that tonight. And also, I wanted to show you the nail color that I picked, which is this uh, oxblood color as well, matching my lipstick. And this is from Orly, and it's called Terra Mauve number zero seven four so now that I cover everything uh, let's see how the whole look came out and this is how my stilo look for this week I picked to wear this black dress it's a peplum dress featuring lace and a turtleneck on the top with a sweetheart neckline I got this dress at Mandy uh, like two months ago I was not actually shopping for a birthday dress, but as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it because um, once I tried it on, it actually favored my figure a lot. As I have said before in most of my videos, when i talking about peplum and the peplum trend, I always say that the peplum tends to uh, favor your figure because it actually defines your waist giving the impression of a smaller one. So um, to go with this dress, I picked this Carlos Santana shoes that I showed you before. 
They are in gold with a glittery confetti all over, all around. They are very sexy, and they are five-inch heels. Um, at one point, I felt like adding something right here on my waist to make the dress stand out a little bit more, but then I changed my mind because I feel that it will be too much because of the shoes. The shoes are already making a statement and saying a lot. So let, it, let them shine, leaving the look the way it is. I already showed you the accessories and now you understand why I picked them all in gold. Um, usually what you see most people do is wear black with silver. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. And um, that's why I decided to incorporate the gold instead, matching my shoes. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. As I said before, if it slaps me in trends, feel free to go into my blog and subscribe to it, which is slapsmeintrends.com. And don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. My name is Diani, and I will see you next week.